Welcome back to the Straw Hat Duo. Today we are going over chapter 1043, titled We Die Together. And this is a huge chapter. There's a lot to go in with to this chapter. So let's get right into it. Cover page is probably the most boring part of the chapter, and there's really not much going on in it. It's just Oven and Brulee taking the Vin Smoke book back to Whole Cake Island, which is still a cake. It's titled Germa 66's Cold Blooded Voyage, Volume 7, Arriving at Whole Cake Island. Not much else to that. We pick up this chapter right where we left off the old one. Luffy taking the Kanabo hit straight to the chest. It doesn't actually look like it hits him in the face. It looks like it kind of connects here and just downward. You know, you see Kaido's face. He looks just distraught. You also see that Luffy's arm is still inflated a little bit as he's getting hit. Luffy takes the hit, screams out, coughs up blood. Kaido kind of flexes his hands while the CP0 member in the bowler hat just kind of nods his head down in like a somber look. There's some paint, panting afterwards and the CP0 member that was in the waiting room kind of steps out onto the balcony and kind of looks up. Doesn't say anything, just looks up. Luffy lets out all of his air from Gear 4 and goes flying around like a balloon, and Kaido just kind of stands there, watches it with a sad, blankish look on his face. He he looks disappointed, honestly. Lets out to Large Island. The, you can see the entire island and Momonosuke pulling the island. And he goes, What? Luffy's voice, it's gone. Uh, Luffy hits the ground, Kaido's sitting there puffing, and he starts to get angry. And then you see a, a scene of Luffy, and his eyes are kind of shaded over. Not like whited out like he normally is, it's just shaded over. Like Zoro's eyes were earlier in the arc. And then the narrator comes over and says, Skull Dome Battle roof or Rooftop Battle. Victor, Kaido, King of the Beasts. And then you see Kaido... Back to looking like concerned, disappointed, almost enraged in his eyes. And he goes, do you know what you've just done? And the bowler hat CP zero member just kind of nods his head, kind of tips his hat. And Kaido double hands his Kanabo, takes it over his head and swings it downward at that CP zero member causing the roof to explode. More than likely, that CP0 member is dead. <laughs> then you see the roof exploding from the inside, and there's some people in there freaking out going, there's no end to it. The CP0 member in the waiting room kind of looks at, up to the roof and kind of tips his hat. Then we see Kawamatsu. Somebody's like, the ceiling's coming down. You got to get out of here. Kawamatsu's like, thousands of our comrades are still in there. If only that we weren't up in the sky. There's no water around here. He wants to use the, his water um, manipulation power type thing to put the fire out. Understandably so. He's like, we can't do anything to quell these flames. Everyone, please find a way out. There's no honor in burning to death. And that's got to piss uh, Rizo off. <laughs> he was just uh, burning to death for honor. <laughs> And then we see a Boro Breath come in through the ceiling, and a bunch of people freak out. And Kaido pops through in his dragon form. Everybody's like, Kaido-sama? He comes out and says, where's your leader? Make that brat Mo Momonosuke declare his surrender. Straw Hat Luffy is dead. If all of you want to still wish to fight, step forward now. Which is a similar line to what Shanks said at the Marine for War. That's a little interesting. <laughs> You see the Beast Pirates, yeah, he's done it. It's a total victory for Kaido-sama. Yes, total victory. You know, Queen, King, Big Mom. None of them were defeated. It's a total victory. Honestly, <laughs> it's not a total victory. They're just celebrating that Kaido won. You see some other Pirates. Uh, pirates or Samurais, I'm not sure which. Uh, you know, they're like, it can't be. Young Straw Hat couldn't have. Then you see Law and Kid laying there, and uh, Law's like, Straw Hat's voice is dis has vanished. Kid's like, yeah, it looks like we were kidding ourselves. He looks a little disgruntled. I, I'm not entirely sure the emotion he's got. He's just, he's not happy, that's for sure. He log in. He's in a similar emotion. 
And he's like, "It's this is a bitter pill to swallow. I've got nothing left. Chopper starts bawling his eyes out. He's, he's, he's like, Luffy's been killed. Then Nami steps out and says, you can't let that oversized snake get away with lying like that. And then you hear Marco in the background. He's like, don't go out there. The little girl. I cannot think of the little girl's name. With the devil fruit power to control beasts, pirates. Um, then you see Nami. He's like, Luffy can't have lost. He's not dead. It's impossible. And um, she yells out, liar. Kind of looks down and says, so some still won't let their spirits break. And she's like, I don't believe you. And he launches a borrow breath at Nami. Marco manages to block it on his own, which kind of shows that Kaido is not, either wasn't firing it at full blast or he's also very weakened. Marco's like, don't give up till it's all over. Nami falls to the floor and she's like, Luffy. And she starts crying too. Kaido's like, Onigashima will now land on the flower capital without delay and you'll find I won't be as soft as Orochi was this ca country was a giant just a giant's weapons factory to me I don't care if they're women children or everybody here is going to be my slave you'll f be free to drop dead after your bodies can't take any more work that's how you'll live for the rest of your miserable lives after all I can always replace you when you're gone you chose to oppose me Facing my wrath now should come as no surprise. This is what it means to lose in war. You gambled with your rights and dreams. And then you see the samurai. Some of them are kind of angry. Others are scared. One of them goes, please, no, spare my wife and child. And then Kaido's like, bring me Momonosuke. This doesn't end until then. These pirates are like, now's our chance. Get kid in law. Take their heads. They're at the end of their ropes. They're kind of like surprised at this. I mean, I don't know why. It's perfect opportunity. Any pyro would do that. <laughs> you may have beaten Big Mom, but Kaido San is tougher than fort a fortress. You never had a chance. And then their respective pirate crews, you know, jump in to protect them. You see Carrot and Nekamamushi rushing in, and they're like, "This doesn't sound good. Let's get it, go." And you know. Neko is just like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> and then in the castle interior basement, you see a few people and they're like, there's nothing but flames. Is there a way out? Look for an exit. Then you look over or you see that uh, Law and Kid are getting ready to fight. And Law's like, or no, Kid's like, I'm fighting Law. Surrendering or letting him kill us are both out of the questions. <laughs> and Kid, or Law's like, damn it, Straw Hat. <laughs> and starts huffing and Momono then it cuts out to Momonosuke and she he's talking to Yamato and he goes don't be as absurd what can I do against someone Luffy lost to you can fight till your last breath isn't that the way of the samurai states Yamato if not us then who everyone else is at their limit even Kaido must be feeling it now which according to that Boro breath earlier more than likely uh, Momonosuke is like that would just be throwing away more lives. It pains me to admit it, but if Luffy's gone, our only option is to yield. Yamato's like, I'm not letting that happen. They'll live, and then what? They'll be slaves until the day they die, and fi they finally die of exhaustion. In the end, surrendering won't save anyone. And that kind of snaps Momonosuke out of it. He's like, yeah, that's that's right. I mean, <laughs> it was like, all the daimyo that allowed Uruchi to have his way went to their graves full of regret everyone everything that wano's endured for the past 20 years was for the sake of this battle even if surrender is our only option i'd rather we die together hence the name of the te uh, chapter they it shows some of the beast pirates and pirate and other pirates or samurai clashing and then it shows kind of a, a stare off of determined eyes between Yamato and Momonosuke cuts over and you see Kaido blasting a Boro breath into a bunch of people <laughs> then you see a zoomed out shot of Onigashima and it zooms in on the roof and then it zooms in on Luffy and at this point Luffy's eyes look exactly like Zunisha's and he starts to move a little bit well it doesn't show movement but there's there's movement around him <laughs> and he's back to his normal form he's not in gear fourth anymore and then it shows zunisha zunisha's like momonosuke 
And Monosuke is like, what? <laughs> I can hear it, says uh, Zunisha. It really takes me back. Momonosuke is like, what do you mean, Zunisha? And Yamato's like, what, what the hell are you doing? I mean, what's going on? <laughs> Zunisha is like, can hear the drums of liberation. This is the first time in 800 years he's here without a doubt. Momonosuke is like, who is? And okay, I didn't realize this the first time I read through this, but when, after Momonosuke asks who is, um, Zunisha's eyes start to light up. It's not just the black holes anymore. They start to light up and he like lets out a surprised sound and he says, joy boy, in the way that he talks to Momonosuke. And then he says, joy boy, he has returned. And then you cut back to Luffy. Luffy seems to be melting away. I'm not entirely sure how to describe it, but yeah, he's like melting away and like the steam that comes off of him in gear second seems to be coming from his mouth, arms, and like around his chest, neck area. And the narrator's like a quiet smile as it says grin, which it is pronounced Nika in Japanese. And there's a break next week. So there's going to be a ton of speculation for two weeks about this chapter, probably three weeks because next chapter, judging on how Oda does things like this, when he leaves a cliffhanger like this, he will not go straight back to it. I don't know what, what he will do instead of going right back to the cliffhanger. My guess is we'll get a catch up with Zoro, maybe Sanji. Maybe we'll see what happens with Orochi, or we'll see a little bit of Kaido raging around the castle we might see Zunisha make a few moves. I don't think we'll see anything with Luffy until chapter 1045. With a cliffhanger like that, Oda seems to like to leave us hanging. <laughs> so we're pretty much positive now that the devil fruit that the girls say we're talking about is Luffy's. And I'm thinking maybe, maybe it is a zone type fruit. Here's my thought process. What if, well, Sengoku, he's got the Buddha fruit, the Hito Hito no Mi model Buddha. What if Luffy has the Hito Hito no Mu model Nika Sun God or something like that? Maybe Nika had the power of turning his body into rubber. Because here's the thing, Luffy says he's a rubber boy, rubber man. Yeah, I don't know, it just seems like Katakuri. He's got to turn, uh, I'm not entirely sure how to explain it, but Luffy's devil fruit has always seemed to act weird to me. The fact that it turns everything into rubber, as far as I know, um, paramecia type, oh, well, actually that's, you know what? That's another thing. It could just be a new type of devil fruit. It could be a fourth type, well, technically fifth type of devil fruit. Because we got Zone, we got Paramecia, we got uh, Logia, and then we have the special Paramecia, technically. Could be a fifth type. He could be like a hybrid of all three. You know, Logia, um, Zone, with the Sun God Nika, because deities are in the Devil Fruit, you know, possibilities. Um, you have Yamato's, which is considered a deity type uh, fruit, uh, you have Sengoku, who's the Buddha. I mean, Buddha is, <laughs> so there's, there's a lot to go into this chapter. I'm hoping I'm wrong. And the next chapter in two weeks, um, well, next week is a break. So the week after that, the next chapter will come out. I'm hoping that just jumps straight in where we left off. That would be the ideal thing. I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be you know, the chapter after that, because Oda, I mean, it's good writing, you know, you, you got to pe keep people on the edge of their seats. And he's been doing great these last few chapters. Every single chapter, it's like, I, I need to know the next, I need to know what's going on next. So I'm looking forward to the next chapter. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this chapter in the comments below, because 
this was a crazy chapter. Let me know what your predictions are for the next chapter, because that I'm curious on. I want to know what everybody thinks is going to happen in the next chapter. If we're going to go back to Luffy, or if we're going to get like a catch-up chapter. Yeah, that does it for today's video. Sorry about no backdrop. Just it was a lot of work putting it up, and it's been a long day. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for coming by.